Hey everybody, what's up? It's Locke here from Co-Optimus, checking out Evolve, the latest and greatest from Turtle Rock, famous for the Left 4 Dead series, and really there there's some similarities between Left 4 Dead and Evolve, but um, really there it's a totally different game. Of course, yes, the co-op is there, uh, this time asymmetrical co-op, because you've got four hunters versus a big bad monster, total of five players, and you can play with your friends, of course, and having one of your friends, the fifth person being a monster, and you can also do some solo stuff, or you can play against the AI, do what you want. But, let's get down to it. What do you do in Evolve? Basically, like I said, it's an asymmetrical co-op game versus a big bad monster. So the four hunters are tasked with going after this monster, and the monster, on the other hand, has to go around, eat different wildlife, build up its strength, evolve, if you will, and uh, basically take out the hunters or the power station, uh, depending on what map you're on and what kind of game style you're playing. But it's a cool game of cat and mouse, essentially, is what it boils down to. Uh, there's there's three different game types. Uh, skirmish, which is your, your quick play mode. The custom matches where you tailor everything to what you want it to be. You can change everything from the, the map to the weather effects to sort of different things that happen in the environment, what, how much wildlife you want, how many you know, noises that you want to go off. It's, it's a really nice addition. The custom gameplay is, is great because you can tailor it to what, sort of what you want. And finally, the evacuation is a mini campaign. So think of Left 4 Dead's, you know, play four levels. In this, in the evacuation, you're playing five levels and you get to vote on each round what type of map you want to do. And those are, those break down into these different game modes that are hunt, rescue, nest, and defend. And hunt is the, the cat and mouse game. Your, your default sort of four hunters going after the monster and the monster's trying to level up while the hunters are trying to catch it. Next up is rescue. That is the flip side where the monster is trying to kill sort of not hostages, but kill survivors, and the the hunters are trying to get the survivors to a launch pad, and then flip that around to nest, where the hunters are trying to kill the monster's eggs, and the monster's trying to protect those eggs and sort of summon those into his little minions. And finally, you have defend, which is kind of its own little game mode. Uh, this happens at the end of evacuation, or you can do it in your custom games, but uh, defend is a monster charging at a base, and the and you have to just defend it. So um, there's a ton of variation in this, and it's really cool because you can uh, have three different types of monsters right now in the game. And of course, what's so cool about Evolved is that this is going to be a platform, and they can just keep adding monsters as they think of them and create them, and they have some awesome community involvement. But right now, as it stands, you have the Goliath. Big, big, huge, fast, aggressive, fire-breathing gorilla. Uh, next, you have the Kraken, which looks like a spawn of Cthulhu. And finally, the Wraith, which is a very elusive uh, damage dealer and can teleport and put out decoys. But uh, those, as it stands right now, those are the monsters that they have. They have another one on the way before release, which I'm looking forward to checking out. And then, on the other hand, you have the Hunters, and the four classes of the Hunters are the Assault, the Trapper, the Medic, and the Support. And within each of those classes, which I'll get to in a moment, uh, are different characters and the different characters have slight variations on their abilities which is really neat so if you think of the team combinations you can have four you have to have one of each that's that's the catch you do have to have one of each class but within those you can choose between three characters if you've unlocked them there is a big unlock system lots of progression here um, the classes and the different monsters are behind an experience wall but it forces you to play everything which I think is cool and yeah, there's just a ton of variation. And I didn't, uh, to get back to the monster, uh, we can look at their powers. They have four powers, and within each of those powers, you can level those up three different times. So yeah, it, there's a lot of different stuff happening, and it, it, it's, it's a nice, simple system with a lot of different combinations. So I think that is a, a, an interesting formula that they've gone with here. And it's all about mixing and matching. You know, get your hunters and, and your strategies with your different abilities there. And then same with your monster. You have to look at sort of what you want to use. Do you want to use fire breath or do you want to use a leap smash? Do you want to have lightning raining down or do you want to like have these cool mines and set up traps and be super sneaky? So 
when you're playing as the monster, I'll just briefly go over it because this is a co-op overview. The the monster is the PvP aspect of it, but uh, people are going to be playing as a monster. It's a lot of fun, and you you start out weaker than the hunters, and uh, each monster has three levels. And then you start out at level one, you are weaker than the hunters. Then when you eat enough wildlife, you level up and evolve. Level two, hunters and the monster at the same sort of level, and then level three, the monster is more powerful than the hunters. So there's it's a cool balance. It's a it's a really delicate balance and. There's a time limit on the matches, and it's in the hunter's best interest to sort of go after the monster as fast as they can before it evolves. And really, cooperation is key for success for this, and it couldn't be more true. Um, Evolve is one of those games where if you if you don't coordinate, the hunters are going to fail every time, unless they get lucky. And I really dig it, because Left 4 Dead was one of those games where you, even though you everyone played the same maps over and over again, it was different every time. And it was that emergent gameplay that comes out, and we don't see that a ton these days, but it's really one of those games, Evolve is going to be one of those games where, where you are telling stories after every map, or after every night. It's like, oh, remember that time where we did this and that, and the Goliath came after us and we killed it, and uh, really looking forward to do that. So go and check out the in-depth analysis that Tally did on the site uh, with regards to breaking down all the game modes and that. Uh, there's a written portion, and uh, hopefully this was useful. Let me know in the comments, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a ton of Evolve coverage because it's coming out super quick here in about a month. So, once again, thanks for watching. This Evolve preview, Locked from Co-Optimus, signing off.